printing gives me one level of diplomatic visibility over everybody, which is effectively plus three combat strength. I like a lot. I'm also doing a lot of pillaging with my little horsey boys. You see, that musket can reach immediately through, as can this one. That one cannot, just stay there for a second. Get my siege equipment to the front line. Lovely, I think. We can't siege the city this turn, but I mean, look at that. Rio was falling quickly. But we did just take this through population city. Wow, so okay, Brazil, we are just running over. I don't think we're going to have such luck with Georgia. Georgia is a lot tougher and so is Nubia. And I tried to think what Russia has, but uh, yeah, it's only taken six turns to take one, two, three cities from Brazil. Oh, and uh, also a settler. Well, muskets are proving successful, so I think we're going to go for cavalry now. If I can get a kill with a knight, that'll speed that up. But um, cavalry and uh, line inventory, we j just want tougher units, as tough as we can get. That's the main aim here. Pillage and pillage, attack, attack. Rio Falls, that is the capital taken. And uh, Salvador, eight population. They really don't have a lot of cities left, Brazil, but this is probably the city to focus on. So that's where we're going to head. Oh, don't mind if I do. Yum, that siege tactics. And then there's a boost towards military science. And we've reduced Salvador's defenses a little bit. Don't forget, destroying districts makes a city a lot weaker, a lot weaker. More voting. Oh, can we have melee attacks to be stronger? That would be fun and totally balanced in every way. And I totally don't need that sort of bonus on my land. There we go, plus five. It always goes through melee. Well, um, yeah, my muskets are now even more powerful than they were before, which, you know, as we all know, was very much needed. One, two attack, Salvador is taken, and mine. We only have one more turn. Brazil do have two cities, but they've only got four population between them. I'm not, you know, registering these as the biggest threat in the world, but uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on them. You never know. What I am assuming is that we will probably be going to war with Russia very soon, so I am bringing my troops over to the Russian border. We'll see if this is a hunch that is correct or not. At any rate, I've got an army for Nubia. I am pulling together an army for Georgia. We need to be ready in every eventuality here. The military emergency fails, but unfortunately, before we can reap the benefits of this, we must, on turn 120, offer Pedro the peace that he probably wants. Yeah, there we go, we get some gold. And now everybody except Brazil is back on the wheel. Russia, Georgia, Nubia, let's spin the wheel and see where we go. Who knows where we're going to go? Is it Georgia or Russia? Oh, ho, 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 ho. it's Russia. I thought we were going to war with Georgia there. Okay, you know what? Actually, this works well for me. I've only got a small army on Moscow's border, but I do have the remains of this army that I've been using to attack Brazil. So that's quite good. Um, yeah, surprise wartime. I'm losing my diplomatic favor so quickly, so I am just selling it to whoever will buy it. But I've unfortunately bankrupted every other person in the game right now. Oh no, apparently Georgia's still got some gold per turn. I think that hasn't been updated yeah yeah okay no, we, we've effectively bankrupted everyone now so that's fine um right let's see if we can find a way through these mountains oh there is a way through the mountains there is an encampment blocking it but that's not too bad we can fit some units through here it's going to take all of our maneuverability and i'm not going to even stop to heal my units here nope that is a dead end we're just going to charge we are going to charge and see where we can get to here uh, I'm going to have to take down these walls first, aren't I? Yep, let's just get rid of this encampment and upgrade to a musket there. Lovely. Oh, they just did a lot of damage to my trebuchet. Ouch. I think that was a double attack. It was from the encampment with the crossbow power and then also the trebuchet hit it again. I'll have to switch these units around briefly because I want this encampment dead. Uh, I think I can just walk in. There we go. Right, that kills the trebuchet as well. For you. On to Moscow. Instantly builds a university and a library. And universities are worth more. I'm going to actually just steal Newton. Newton sounds great. Look, education just got boosted as well. Beautiful. Russia has a lot of courses. That's not particularly fun. However, luckily for me, my muskets are very strong. So we can just hit through these mostly. And I believe there's no hold up here. We can just attack and take Smolensk. Perfect. That's a Russian city. Moscow. Yeah, we can start assaulting that from two different directions now. Oh no, a city flipped. That's a shame. It would be terrible if I didn't have a massive standing army right next to it just in case this happened. What a 
Shame. In fact, actually, look, it's already taken. Beautiful. Liberate it? <laughs> nah. This will confuse Russia. They're busy attacking my borders and I've just appeared from the other side of their country. Just like, hello, here I am. Don't worry about me. I'm just getting urban warfare in both of these muskets, which can now attack Moscow with 76 strength. Don't mind me. Don't mind the siege tower that seems to be rolling very slowly towards your city and the trebuchet, which just managed to hit around the corner. Don't worry about it. That's what I say. There's nothing Nothing, nothing to be frightened of. Just accept the fact that you are joining the Persian Empire regardless of whether or not you want to. Six turns left on this attack. It's going well. It's going well. Can I get a kill of the knight? Go on, go on, do it, do it. Oh, that's almost military science boosted. Fine, I'm going to just try and get bombards and pike and shot. I've skipped pikemen. That's probably not for the... Yeah, let's just get that quickly. But like, yeah, it's uh, looking pretty good. One attack, two attacks. Oh, it's got three health left, the city. Uh, luckily, I have a five movement musket. I can just run through. Uh, where's next? Novograd. Okay, that's fine. Six cities, 34 population. So five turns left to do this. Come on, let's get this night kill. You know you want to, game. You know you want to. I'm going to do one more trebuchet attack just to make sure it's nice and low. Can I sneak another one? No, I can't risk it. Let's just do it. Make the attack. Bam. There is military science. And most importantly, here is a line inventory upgrade. I think I'm going to prioritize those units with urban fighting because I think that would be amusing. Yeah, there's St. Petersburg. Oh, it's far away. That is far away and Russia have a huge army. It's not a powerful army, but it's a, it, it's literally clogging up the wheels of my military machine. I cannot move my units forward fast enough. Um, however, I do have line inventory that can just punch all oh, through encampments very quickly. That's uh, That was quite effective. Spearmen can finish that off. Novograd. Okay, I sense a target here. Next up is metal casting. Ooh, bombards. I have a lot of night. It's rare. The last few games, I swear, I've been at a consistent and painful nighter deficit. But this, this is looking good. Hello, trebuchet. Meet Mr. Line Inventory. Yeah, they didn't like you either. You know, the movement thing which is so useful is the fact that you can just move onto a hill and then immediately go to attack again. It's just... It's just lovely. In fact, actually, can I use the Great Writer to move further? Wow, that is a way of actually getting through Zone of Control. So did you see, I moved to this tile, I was in Zone of Control, but because there was something to attack, aka another great person, it made me move one further round. So that's a bit of an exploit for you there. Very useful one as well. Oh, my trebuchets are ineffective now. Luckily for me, we are we are in the process of replacing them imminently. But yeah, these are these need to get improved quickly. So ridiculously, I will get era score, even though my musket is so much more powerful because I'm using a regular unit to kill a core. I'll take it. Awesome stuff. Oh, actually, look at that. Oh, I can just move across the river. And then I, you know what? You know what? I had Cyrus very, very low down. Very, very low down my tier list. And I am, I, I am eating my words here. They, they are good. They, they are much better than I gave them credit for. And I, yeah, this has got me thinking. It, it really has. I never mind admitting when I'm wrong on something. And I could be wrong on this one. Is that going to be the kill? Oh, it's not the kill, but that's pretty effectively the kill now. St. Petersburg. We've only got a couple turns left but I might be able to just run in and grab it, you know? Golden Age, Renaissance Era. What are we going to do in this age? It's, uh, it's a good question and I'm not sure. We will have loyalty problems though because Georgia's gone heroic and Russia's golden as well. Oh, that's not nice. I think I'll go monumentality. I am genuinely using builders to rip down forests in order for me to build more units. So yeah, faith to make builders, builders to make units. I think that's not a bad little uh, trajectory, put it that way. Can the musket take Novograd? Yes. Yes, it can. Oh, Russia being in a golden age is a nuisance, actually, but it's okay. We should be fine. I just need to keep shuffling my governors around, and I think we can stay on top of this. Frustratingly, I don't think I'm going to have the movement here to get to St. Petersburg and take the city out this turn, although... I would love to. That would be awesome if I could. In two turns, I'm going to have to back off. Now, mm, do I just try? Do I just go through it anyway? Because, you know, what? Oh, there's another population city there. Which one do I go for? I've put the siege tower in the wrong place. I should have moved it there, actually. That would have been clever. Never mind. I could take that encampment out. Which city? That's St. Petersburg's encampment. Yeah, that would actually make St. Petersburg easier to get to. In fact, actually, that's a pretty easy takedown for me. 
which would be good. So I'm going to take it on. I'll go one attack and then I think this musket is the second attack. Oh no, it didn't count as taking it off. That's annoying. Okay, my last turn. My last turn. If I can take St. Petersburg, this is the ultimate reward. Success. Whew. The line inventory are really tough, actually. I don't know if I've got enough force to reliably take this city, but if I take the encampment, that makes the city weaker. That's good. This musket actually can get across to do an attack from behind. Oh, I've got another option suddenly. Let's move this unit there. That has a line inventory with urban specialism, so we'll attack once. Oh, that's a big attack. And then a second one. I don't think that'll be the one, but then I can do a third attack with this musket, and that counts. Oh. Yes, we took it. We took it. Can I take this city now in the last run? Oh, this is going to be so difficult, but it might be possible because I've got about 7 million trebuchets. That was a bad move. Oh, man, that was a bad move. Never mind. Um, We can go one, two. Oh, what are we going to do? Three. I'm going to just try and use the trebuchet. I don't think there's any point trying to keep it alive because I might as well just press the advantage. No, it's not going to be enough, is it? Oh, fine. Fine. I'll pull back. I might lose a trebuchet here, but it's okay. That's okay. We don't mind that. We took the capital, and the capital is what we needed to keep. Yeah, well, I lost a couple of trebuchets, I think. Oh, no, only the one. Fair play, but turn 130, the wheel is imminently returning. So, yes, Russia, you get to survive. I mean, admittedly, I get to keep your capital, but apart from that, it's all good. I bet the loyalty is going to fall away now. Oh, yeah, that's bad. But before we spin the wheel, you can see, what do I want? Brazil is pretty useless. I've already got the capital and I've only got a small army here. So Brazil would be time wasting if I went for Nubia. I don't even know where the capital is. So this is probably a fight I need, but I have been, you know, I've been busy. There are line inventory here that are ready to rock. There are Renaissance Wars ready for me though. Oh, that's going to be a little bit tough. Never mind. Oh, we can bombard upgrade. Nice. And Georgia's probably the weaker of the main targets now. I don't, again, don't know where the capital is, but I've got a bunch of trebuchets ready to go and we can rock an army up pretty quick because I've got cavalry on the way, bombards on the way. Oh, I love bombards being built. Nice. So here we go, Brazil, Tamir, and Nubia. And... Okay, Brazil. Fine, at least we'll be taking Brazil out of the game, you know? And then they can't pop up again. Soz, very soz. That's bad, they've only met two people in this game and both of them are at war with them. Again, they sort of sat there thinking, what did we do wrong? What went wrong here? Oh, the longer I leave these wars, the worse I think they're gonna get. I just, I feel like the enemy is very much just building up, building up in peace. Why have I not got astrology yet? This is a very valid question. How am I the tech leader, even though I'm missing four basic techs? Wow, this has been an effective early game war. I don't remember a game going this well. Military aid request? Yeah, go on, man. I'll join on that. Cyrus has... No. No, we don't like military emergencies. Actually, this might be useful because this might mean that Russia declare on me yet again. They did. They did. Brazil went for me as well. Unfortunately, none of the others, but Russia declared on me. So, you know... We're at war again, and that means that we can just uh, attack at our leisure. Ah yes, lovely, lovely stuff. This city will fall next turn, no doubt. I put the raid card back in because we're in that beautiful time of the game when we're attacking someone that has improved all of their tiles, and that's not a bad thing. I, I approve of that behavior quite considerably because, yeah, the yields I'm picking up, oh, they are lovely. Go one, and then two, and Smolensk is taken. My city's overflow with filth. Oh dear, what was in this city? That's probably all the honey. It's giving people <laughs> rather upset stomachs. In Zinovograd, taken over. Perfect. Just trying to find all the other cities now. Oh, there's an unprotected one there. Lovely stuff. You, you know, these are the sort of finds that I enjoy. Can we get one attack in? One, two. Oh, there wasn't quite enough movement. That's always the way, isn't it? Actually, can I cavalry it? Yeah. Oh, no. Damn. Never mind. This game is just teasing me. It's just going to see how, how many units I can get close to this. Why would you add a wall just before I'm about to take the city? Come on, don't bother. There we go. See, it wasn't that easier. That was so much easier. Just let me take the city. That one's going to go as well. And then we've got one more city over in this direction and Russia is out of the game. Speaking of, 
I think I can also take Brazil's second to last city. And we can just move my bombard menacingly closer to this city. Oh, a beautiful meteor shower. Now, the trick for this is that you basically now find whatever the best heavy cavalry upgrade path is. Like, let's go to tanks and then you just wait and then pick it up as soon as you unlock it. Quite a nice little fun thing to do there. It, it, it's often a lot of fun. Now, I don't... Oh, this is the thing. Do we think... Do we think we can get this city killed this turn? Probably not. I need another couple of attacks on it, but the movement of my units, unbelievably, is not enough. Oh, it is Russia's last city and everything. Come on, just, just give up. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, no, it just gave it to me. Wow, that was a piece of RNG. Lovely. Rolled high on the damage. Russia out of the game. I only needed six turns to take them out. Actually, less than that. Brazil, I've still got four turns left, but as you can see... We're doing okay with the old units here. Let's bombard the walls off. That's good. And I've got a cavalry that's going to help out here. Let's knight attack and then cavalry. Oh, there you go. You see, that's the luck in the other direction. That should have been a certain kill. Um, oh, wouldn't it have been great if I put my great general in? What is it? This game are not moving my great generals, honestly. I say that. I'm complaining about efficiency. It's turn 136 and I have 40 cities. So, you know, short of Byzantium, I don't think I remember having quite as quick a domination run. This has been scary. <laughs> So I'm not complaining, but um, yeah, you can always strive for more, you know, you can always try and achieve better than you've got at the moment. Well, there we go. That's Brazil out of the game. We only have two left, only two left and three turns to prepare my army and to turn it around and basically try and get ready. I'm just sort of telling random pieces of army, just run along a road until you get roughly to the front line and then and then tell me when you're there. Oh, perfect. The bombard great general. Right. I've got one great general over on this uh, little army that I've got accumulated over there. I've got a second over on this little army. Look, Georgia is actually, they're coming out to meet me in the battlefield. That is not going to go well for you. I would back off very quickly, friend. The military emergency fails because the person that it was targeting is now dead. That's, um... That feels fair. And also the military aid request failed as well for exactly the same reason. Well, here we go. It's turn 140. Look, no, 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 no. Come on. Right. Let's not, let's not jump ahead, Nubia. We don't, we don't know if I'm going to be attacking you. I don't know if I'm going to be attacking you. I've had no idea what I'm doing all game. This is, this is the only thing that can decide. Is the wheel. It's Georgia or Nubia. Georgia or Nubia. Let's see who gets picked. No one knows who it's going to be. Oh, looks like it's Georgia, though. You see, Nubia? Look at this. They're getting all worried about being attacked and uh, all for nothing. It was always going to be Georgia, wasn't it? Georgia, surprise war. It's not a surprise anymore, is it really? Let's be honest. They did have the occasional unit just sort of skulking around. Don't think there's anything too bad because they did actually start to run away towards the end of that. But... Yeah, these are men-at-arms, aren't they, in terms of strength? They're unique unit. I haven't got to worry about them too much, I don't think. Oh, 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 oh these bombards. Um, yeah, these are, these are not messing around. Hang on. One, two, three, four. Oh, yes, yes, yes. These cities are going to absolutely start to perish. I think my cavalry can just run in, almost immediately destroy that city. In fact, I just need to do one more little attack to it, and then we can take the city without even needing to mess around. Look at that. Beautiful. Liberate Ethiopia. I think not. I don't want my wheel getting any more complicated than it currently already is. So Georgia's army is starting to appear. There is 500 of it, and it's being scattered around. But I'm going to attack them with enough units now that they really are not going to have any uh, real ability to kind of know where they should be fighting. I, I am everywhere and everyone at once. Ooh, great scientist. Oh, it's a big old turf war here, but they've only got man at arms and my field, uh, yeah, my line inventory, sorry, are just about there. Ooh, and ballistics. That's fun. Although I have just realized that my crippling gold situation is not as good as I would want it to be. I've got to watch that. We've got to do some raiding. Gain who? 200 gold? You see the great merchant? It was like, you need gold, do you, Ursa? Yay! And I'm sort of sat there thinking, you know what? 
actually. That's really cool. And uh, I think, actually, let's just get some Arakand as well. That gives me some Era score, but a little bit of gold as well. One line inventory versus the second force. What a cool name for a warrior. It's a it's a shame they were terrible, but yeah, credit. That That is a cool name. Oh, Kurosaz. I really want Kurosaz. I'm actually going to gamble. I'm going to gamble on upgrading units right now. I just, I feel like, again, it's all about momentum. Oh, I just noticed, actually, that is the unique wall up with its distinctive orange top to it. Oh, they've got them up everywhere, haven't they? Oh, Georgia. There's something just wonderful about attacking Georgia, isn't it? Oh, dear. We want to avoid as many wars with Georgia as possible. I've got seven turns. I just need to know where their capital is. Tbilisi, it's going to be it's down here. Okay. So Batami is going to be a bit of a waste of time. We want to head over in this direction, don't we? Yeah, okay. I just had my siege tower pillaged and destroyed, but thinking about it, that's not a bad thing because, I mean, siege towers are useless now because, I mean, yeah, Georgia have evolved beyond this sort of thing. Goodness me, their land is hilly. I know that's their thing, but, oh, it's, this, this is tough. I'm gonna just keep hitting it with everything I've got, but, I mean, yeah, nasty, nasty walls here. How many turns have I got? Six turns left. Oh, we're gonna be right pushing this. Oh, I keep losing units, but I've actually managed to bring Georgia down to half the military strength they were on before, so this is a game I can keep up for a lot longer than they can. Okay, this city is now totally surrounded by bombards. I know that they can upgrade, but I just need to be whittling down that city. Uh, I need to now get another set of bombards over to Tbilisi. I feel like the sheer epicness of this battle is not going to be met by this battle over here. It's, I mean, they do have Renaissance walls, admittedly, but it's the Georgian walls which are causing me so much problem right now. Okay, I should be able to take this city next turn. That'll be a huge breakthrough for me. Absolutely massive. Ugh, this uh, field cannon, though, could not come quick enough. Batami is also surrounded, so even if I don't take Tbilisi this time, I've got one, two cities that are surrounded, and I should be able to take both of those, hopefully. Oh, their unique unit is so tough, and my bombards are not doing much damage against them. I need to get my line inventory fighting. Yeah, you know what, actually, that's that's the play, isn't it? One, two. I know I have the capital um, surrounded, but there's absolutely no point in me having it surrounded because it wasn't doing me anything, so yeah, that's fine. So we're just attacking units over and 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 over. We're okay. We're okay. What turn is it now? 148, I think it's going to roll into? No, 147. I've still got a couple of turns. This is good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I need to take this city out. I really do. But it's just proving to be so slow. But can we do it? You know what? I have a great general. I need to get great generals in range. Hang on. This one is the one. Yeah, perfect. That should take that city. Perfect. One city taken. One attack, two attacks, and woohoo! Line inventory comes in, and that's another city taken in the same turn. Okay, right. That is a breakthrough. That is an actual breakthrough. They've taken out a district as well in the capital. That lowers the city down a little bit. Technically, this encampment is causing the city to be stronger, but I'm not going to try and get rid of that encampment because that would be crazy. But my bombards can now get in range. Here we go. Oh, do I go for the attacks now? My land tree got loads of health, so I think time is of the essence. Let's just get these attacks in. Still moving all my troops around. Being an absolute pain. Making sure that literally there is nowhere that Georgia can go that I can't get them. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, I'm gonna might lose that cavalry. I thought I'd have the movement to pillage, but never mind. Oh, they're gonna kill that bombard? Yeah, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Doesn't matter if we lose a unit here or there, we've got 2,000 military strength and we've taken them below 150 now. That is good. Oh, I wish I could <laughs> I wish I could do the military emergency just for the lols of it. But nope, we will behave. It is against the rules. We are doing surprise wars only in this game, and I plan on sticking to that. One bombard, two bombards. Oh, not using these promotions is an absolute pain but i don't want to wait that long actually hang on look at that there's the capital georgia's capital is gone oh yeah i'm going to absolutely need a governor across here because that is looking painful we have only a couple of turns now but i think we've got plenty of time we've got plenty of time hang on i can just get that kill done let's start to now attack this city if i can get this one taken out as well and loyalty-wise, it'll be a little bit happier, I think. 
I say that, we don't really mind. We're, we're all just doing this at super speed. Oh, I'm doing uh, the occasional pillage. Not very many pillages, but the occasional pillage. Basically, it's the only thing that keeps my economy running. We're on a hundred, uh, minus a hundred uh, gold per turn at the moment, which is pretty cool. And that's with a card that is reducing it by 47. Oh, actually, I just realized I've stolen Alhambra, haven't I? Perfect. Well, in that case, I can upgrade more things. Special session. Oh, I thought there might be a surprise war. I was like, yep, yep, that's that's good. If there was a military emergency, we could probably hold on to that city for a little bit longer, but never mind. Oh, we're not going to hold on to the capital, though, are we? This is a, that is a tough ask. Attack, attack, attack. Attack. Oh, these bombards are doing mighty well, but they're not the main event. That's a lovely little pike and shock uh, attack, and oh, I thought that would be the attack. It was not. Have I got any mounted units that can just slip around? Oh, no. No, 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 no. I need to take the city this turn. Oh, thank goodness. There's a way around the left. I was like, don't do that to me. Oh, perfect. Right. This city is loyal. Okay. The capital is now loyal. Oh, that's a lot better. Okay, so even if the war finishes next turn, which it absolutely will because those are the rules, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We can hold this city now, which is a lovely thing. I'm just going to start moving my troops now to the Nubian border because there's only one other person we can go to war with, so we know what the randomizer is going to be. Oh, we even get to vote. Oh, what, 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 when, no, no people went last time, wasn't it? Great generals. No great generals. I quite liked that because it meant I could just use my faith to buy them. And we'll go for nice culture bombs as well. That'll be lovely. No great admirals. And I do get culture bombs. So you never know. I might still win a diplomacy victory. It, it could. It might be possible. There you go. Peace with Georgia. And now, now we get to look at the wheel. Oh yeah. Who do you think it's going to spin on? Da 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 da. Oh my lord, what a shock. It's Nubia. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Well, I, I guess I guess we'll have to go to war with Nubia. Yeah, sorry about that, but um it was an inevitability. This is the last sieve that we need the capital for. If only I knew where the capital was. Oh Moreau, it's 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 there. Okay. Perfect. Right, well, we've got the we've got the old double attack. We're going to attack this city quickly. Although, looking at it, uh, I didn't quite get around to finishing the upgrades of all of my armed units, but never mind. Yeah, we'll see how effective this attack is. We've only got 10 turns to take them out. Uh, otherwise, we're going to have to wait and they're going to have a lot of time. What's this? What are, you, what are you building? I don't know what that could be. It's in a desert. It's next to a campus. It seems to be some sort of square. I Oh, I'm going to have to scratch my head. But what's that? That seems to be an ethereal voice coming from within the square. What appears to be some sort of university. Maybe the spirits of scholars, future and past? Telling you, the viewers, to subscribe because Urs is trying to get to 50k and he can't actually get into this university unless he has them. And no, I don't like that. We're going to go away from that. That's horrible. Oh, we found an easy way in, though. Oh, ho. Oh. Hello. That's only ancient walls. Oh, dear. That's not good for anyone, is it? No, no, no. So it looks like Moreau actually has some pretty decent range strength on their city defenses. Gonna have to watch that one a little bit. I don't want to let my units die unnecessarily, but uh, equally I do want to just continue attacking because, yeah, these, these cities I've got to breach as quickly as possible. Let's just finish this little campus. Beautiful. And we can continue attacking this city. I think we can get most of our units involved in an attack this turn. One, two, followed up three. There we go. And I'm going to immediately move Victor forward. Oh, yeah, there is no way I'm holding on to that. Three turns I'm going to keep that city, apparently. That's not long. Um, there's my road. There's the capital. And it has Renaissance walls, but that's okay. I need to get rid of all of the districts I can. Pillaging is going to be the essential art here because we need to attack it as quickly as we can. The discovery for steel means that my cities are going to be impossible to take back if I lose them after conquering them. But that is just one of those fun things you have to do in any domination game. So it's fine. Let's just keep attacking this one. Come on. Let me in. Let me in. Ursa's knocking. I think we can with enough direct attacks. One, two three and then this core attack should be enough there we go i was worried it wouldn't be but that is this city taken this city taken we can now attack the capital from both sides more importantly this time i actually have my full bombard force 
which is a good thing because I was missing my Bombard Force beforehand. It's a <laughs> really shame I'm not doing lots of trade routes here because I'm picking up Chingeti and Kamasi on the same turn. So any trade routes to city-states now would be pretty ridiculous. In fact, I'm actually going to just treat myself to a trader from this city and I'll show you next turn. Keep pillaging. Oh, not quite. That's okay though because I can continue that with that. There we go, 59. It's just every district you pillage and destroy, the city gets weaker and weaker and weaker and that's exactly what you want to see. All right, Bombard Force, we are ready to rock. We have pretty much every Bombard in our army now, rolling up to the front line, ready to join in, including some field cannons, but one, two, three, four, five. Oh, -ho! you know what? I think we've done it. I think we've done it. We have randomized roulette wheel of domination surprise our way to victory in 153 turns. We're only in 840 AD. I have 200 science and 200 culture and I've barely built anything. This has been the weirdest game, like frighteningly effective for how ridiculous I've been playing. You know, I might have to revisit um, Cyrus on my rankings. I don't think I gave him the credit. And what I was kind of thinking of when I first reviewed him is along the lines of you get two combat movement whenever you declare a surprise war, but you only get 10 turns for it and it's not really very effective. You get no combat strength bonuses when you attack anybody. So yes, your units can move quicker, but what's the point in that? Well, the point is it's brilliant. You don't have to declare a surprise war on the person you're fighting. So in theory, you could just declare a surprise war on anyone the other side of the map and you can continue using your bonus against the same person over and over. That I never really thought about. Having all siege equipment, being able to move and fire at the same time, bombards, trebuchets, catapults, that is really, really handy. And actually why great generals are so useful in combat. Persia just does that all the time and I love that. Full combat movement on all of your units, including melee troops, is brilliant. It means you can pillage the tile you're stood on and then attack. When you are fighting a city with farms around it or with anything that will pillage to give you health, that is a brilliant thing. That is a uniquely fantastic thing. And actually having swordsmen that move as fast as horses, yeah, that's pretty overpowered. And even with your range troops, being able to have four movement means you can stand on a hill and then fire. Enemy troops can never catch you up. As long as they're not horses, you can never get hit. You just keep run, fire, run, fire, hit and run. It's it's really effective. Yeah, fair play. We came 10th. We got uh, 1,352 points. That's because we did it so quickly. And you can see, look, we barely built anything for most of the game. Literally just troops, 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 cities captured well above 40, cities lost, uh, that'll be zero. There's my culture, actually just because of everything I stole and all the monuments I took, I had pretty decent culture and my science, yeah look at that, I took the science lead just after turn 100. Just Russia doing faith things, don't worry about that, oh man I, I miss playing Russia, I haven't played them in ages, just you know, haven't really been able to play them for a little while because of Reasons, play a score, look at that, hey. Religion's founded, good, good. Actually, who did that right at the end? Was that Tamir? Oh yeah, making the last ditch effort for a religious victory, seeing everyone dying around them, fair play. Units killed, that's a lot, but how many did I lose? Oh, that's a shamefully high amount. That's like nine or 10 units lost. Oh, we don't want to talk about that. I think I did that with zero wonders constructed. Yep, perfect. Yeah, what a game, look at that. Look at the absolute scale of what we managed to do in 153 turns. There, there are very few civs that can compete with that. I think Byzantium is up there with the people who are best at domination, but fair play, Cyrus, fair play. I actually think you've done pretty well. And you know what? These little unique improvements, they're not brilliant. But having them just pop around conquered cities means that I'm generating a lot of gold and a lot of culture to keep my army happy and to boost me towards nationalism and mobilization. So yeah. No fair play, I like it. And just before we finish the episode for today, there's only one more thing we have to check. It's really important we know the answer to this. What have you got to do when watching this video? And yes, look at that. That's right. You better subscribe. See you later, everybody. More Razor's Head coming up. Goodbye.
And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Doughboy91, Sean Gratiz, Portland, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Devil X, Skeptical Bear, Craig Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Rad, Matthew Hatch, Amiri C, Henry, Romid Yade, Radio Torre, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boy Zorro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truand, Creston, RB Hedge, Mushkin Mandeltort, Esri Dax, Debel Time. Thank you all for your support, it's amazing, see you all next time. Goodbye!